Hello and welcome, it's time to mod again. Today we look at how to efficiently mod the PP19 and also compare it to a well, mm, better but also more expensive build to show you that sometimes less is more. So grab your screwdriver and you know what, today we need the whole toolbox. As you've probably seen in the Why You Should Play video, you can get the weapon for 20,000 or trade it for 40 shaped plugs. In the flea market it's usually not any cheaper, so get yourself a PP19 and start modding. So first off we take a look at the stocks and there are a couple options that we can take. First off with the PT lock we can choose between the PT1 and the PT3. But both of them are very expensive and the stats are not that good for that price. Then we have of course the tube that we can use and there are only two that are available at low level traders, it's the sub mod and the M4 and both are horrible. <laughs> and now let's compare that to the stock of the PP that comes for free. That's already better than most of them and if you add a rubber pad on top of it, it beats every other stock by a huge margin, especially when you take the price into consideration. That's why I say it's a small PP but it's also a huge PP. So definitely go with the rubber pad. The next major place you can improve the stats is of course the muzzle device. And if you don't want to go for a silencer, then the Saiga 9 muzzle brake is a clear winner. It reduces the recoil by additional 1 points for only 500 rubles. I mean, come on, even as a rat, 500 rubles for one recoil, that's a must get. But if you use a silencer, there are a couple of choices, but they're also all very very expensive except for the rotor and the vidyat silencer and the vidyat has even better stats so i would say almost always go with the vidyat if you can the silencer of course costs us a couple of ergonomics points which we could restore with the grips but if we look at the prices um that's a lot of money for four ergonomics or five so i personally would just skip that then the next place we can change something is of course the handguard and here we have ton of choices, but they're all pretty expensive or need special things to attach attachments then. So I would recommend we go with the AK Polymer Series 4 grip, as always. <laughs> this allows you to add a tactical device. I personally always use the blue laser. It makes hip firing more easy and also reduces the recoil pattern. And in terms of grips, the thing is again, you get some stats for example with the RK4, but damn 10,000 for those stats, I mean the rubber pad is better for 3,000, so nah. I mean you can still attach a grip if you find one in raid, which happens pretty frequently. Then in terms of scopes, you can use the Ishmas receive cover to mount <laughs> pretty much every scope that is available, or you can use the side mount which gives you access to pretty basic but actually pretty good range scopes which makes it easier to use this gun as a kind of all-rounder you just have to get used to the hip fire because with a four times scope you can't aim in close quarters but the side mount gives you also access to the okp7 and a special version of it because the thing is with most sides they are kind of blurry but the okp7 just like the pk06 the one that pretty much every streamer is using they are very crisp clear. That's why so many people use it. And you can get that on this gun. So pick whatever you prefer. I personally grew up with the Cobra. That's why I still use it. I'm just Cobra gang. <laughs> but it's not totally down to personal preference. So pick whatever you feel comfortable with. Now if you assemble the gun. You can see that we land around 60,000. So remove the trader filter. And ta-da. The silencer is insanely cheap. But we're still at around 50,000. Now you could of course change the silencer for the Saiga break or not use a laser pointer or whatever to drop the price even further. But I think it's worth the price tag as you really get a good gun that is silent, has a scope and a laser pointer for 50,000 and you get it back via insurance pretty often. And when you compare the stats we have now for 50,000 to a gun with 120,000, so more than double that, we see that yeah we get 7 ergonomics more and 6 recoil less but for a huge price tag and just for this little more if you have enough rubles then of course go for it but for the average person that wants a budget gun this is why this build is so efficient it gets you 
really good stats for only 50,000 or 55,000. Because, well, you can see how fast it can get very expensive. And the build on the right is still a very good build in terms of price efficiency. You can easily make builds for around 300,000 that are worse. <laughs> and 44 recoil really isn't that much. So you can laser people across pretty impressive distances. But that's only a build video. If you want to see why you should play the SMG-19 or PP-19, and here is a link to another video in where we discuss all the advantages and disadvantages this gun has and why you should give it a try. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up, show some love in the comment section, subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!